We will be reporting from the Kennedy Space Center and bring you a primetime special, Man on the Moon, at 10, 9 central. Thank you for joining us tonight. There's a great legacy here at CBS News of the finest journalists. One of them was Edward R. Murrow, who eloquently captured the power of television when he said, this instrument can teach, it can illuminate, yes, and even it can inspire, but it can do so only to the extent that humans are determined to use it to those ends. Otherwise, it's nothing but wires and lights in a box. There is a great and perhaps decisive battle to be fought against ignorance, intolerance, and indifference. This weapon of television could be useful. To Mr. Murrow, we will try to use it well and with integrity. For all of us at CBS News, I'm Nora O'Donnell. Good night. It all began on July 15, 1949, at 12 noon. People crowded the streets in front of TV store windows. At noon, the screen lighted up. This is WBTV, Charlotte, North Carolina. Signing on Channel 3 Television from Charlotte, North Carolina, the Queen City of the South. And WBTV was on the air. I'm Jim Patterson. And the day that I read that first sign on was absolutely wild. Soon, a staff of reporters and film photographers were jumping in their news wagons, lights flashing, speeding off to cover plane crashes. First with television in the Carolinas. First with color television in the Southeast. First with color videotape in the nation. When one thinks of pioneering in TV, he thinks of WBTV. This is a WBTV special presentation. On this day, 70 years ago, Charlotte's WBTV became the first broadcast television station in the Carolinas to go on the air. We carry on that legacy tonight as we celebrate the moments we've shared as a community and a nation. Join us for the next hour as we reflect on seven decades of serving this region. And we invite you behind the scenes for a glimpse of what's in store for the future. WBTV has spent every day for the last 70 years working to earn your trust. We're proud to be on your side. Good evening and thank you for joining us on this special night. I'm John Carter. You know, I first started here at WBTV right after I graduated from Appalachian State University. So like you, I've seen a lot of changes over the years, but one constant throughout all those years has been you, the viewer, welcoming our team into your home. You've tuned us in the good times and the bad times, and you've trusted us to bring you the most important stories impacting you and our area with the facts. And throughout the next hour, my friends and co-workers here at WBTV are going to be joining me as we look back at some of the biggest stories we've covered, those that made us stronger or perhaps brought us together, and those that we still talk about today. When you think about it, I'm not sure anyone could have imagined back on July 15, 1949, what was to come. After all, the very moment we are celebrating tonight almost didn't happen. If you don't know the story, there's no one better to tell it than the very man who signed WBTV on the air back in 1949, Jim Patterson. Well, I don't think anybody on the staff thought we'd really get on the air, that all of this would manage to work. You see, I had to be at the transmitter at Spencer Mountain at 12 noon for the sign-on. And everything was up in the air at the Wilder Building Studios, of course. And naturally, I got a late start and practically had to fly those 26 miles to get there on time, roaring out Wilkinson Boulevard at 85 miles an hour all the way. But we did just make it. And we made it all right, but it was still quite a gamble. At the time, a television set cost a month's salary, and unlike today, the station didn't own a single camera that first day we signed on. Still, excitement surrounded the idea of TV and what it could mean. Now, we have spent weeks digging through the archives here at WBTV, and we found books like this, where every story was written down with the tape number and the date it aired. And we also found this ad from the Charlotte Observer announcing our big day and the start of regular scheduled television broadcasts. But there wasn't much to that schedule. The first day, this image, take a look, it's called a multiscope, alternated with a test pattern for hours. The Cliff Edwards Show followed, then Robert Ripley's Believe It or Not, the 54th Street Review, and the movie A Star is Born. But who was watching that day? Certainly wasn't like it is today. You may be watching right now from a smartphone or a tablet, 
Back then you had to be in front of a television to see us, and there were only about a thousand sets in the area. By August, though, there were 2,000, and that number climbed to 8,500 by the end of 1949. And from there, television sales only continued to grow, as did we, as did our programming lineup. Arthur Smith and the Cracker Jacks, Cowboy Fred Kirby, Betty Feaser. Hello. On this very cold and getting much colder Wednesday visit, let's talk about whether you should wash your face or whether you should cream your face. The 1950s brought another first for WBTV viewers. We've had a little rain, but uh, it stopped the minute we got on the air. They were able to put the names and voices they'd heard on radio with faces on television. Doug Mays became as familiar as the next door neighbor through the SO Reporter. Programming mixed between news. Now here's our own weather globe trotter, Claude McLean. And entertainment. Show us your best quarters. Well, I feel my house offers but what you see. All of it was produced in the same studio. As soon as news and weather finished, set change started. From this studio space, such programs as Tap the Barrel, Shop by Television, Carolina Cookery, Nocturne, Synopsis, Money to Burn, and countless others were born. At the time, live shows were king, and for good reason. There was more time to fill. The networks provided fewer programs than today. Leaving imaginations to seemingly run wild for years to come. There were quiz shows, comedies, musicals, interviews, kids shows, audience participation shows, how to do it shows. There was nothing we didn't try. We had no pressure from the rating system, very little fear of failure, and a lot of guts. <laughs> kind of balances out the, uh, yeah. the situation here. And what's Burt Reynolds got that I have? And don't answer that. <laughs> that would take an hour to explain, CJ, at least. Join us each morning at 6 here on Channel 3. Come. News, weather, and sports each morning. And you can get beauty tips, too. In 1999, WBTV This Morning expanded to 5 a.m. Since then, we've added WBTV News Prime Time, first at 4. Morning break. We got a red carpet for you. Yeah, we'll everybody. We'll be right back with more morning break right after this. And on your side tonight with Jamie Bowl. Diagnose and treat things like, yes, prostate cancer the second leading cause of cancer deaths in men. As you can see, the mix of programming hasn't changed much. We still deliver news. The Pentagon says it is sending about 1,000 additional troops to the Middle East. And even have a little fun. Only Cam Newton could pull that off, exactly. right? Exactly. Okay. Yes. Only Cam Newton, or possibly, or possibly me. <laughs> oh, look at you. <laughs> but instead of one studio, there are three. Each is named for a WBTV pioneer carries a part of our legacy. Each reminds us how and where this all started. This is WBTV Charlotte, North Carolina, signing on Channel 3 Television from Charlotte, North Carolina. So much has changed since that day 70 years ago today. Now today we produce 47 hours of programming weekly from this building. Quite a difference when you compare that to where we started originally. And just as our founders realized excitement about television in 1949, they would soon realize there was a hunger for news. Stories like a massive freight station fire, a brave teenage girl standing in the face of adversity, a presidential visit, and even an elephant on the run in Charlotte. It all happened in the first 10 years we were on the air. And we're going to look back at those stories and more as we celebrate 70 years of being on your side. Hey WBTV, happy 70th. Because of you and your over $5 million raised, no family will ever receive a bill from St. Jude. Not for treatment, travel, housing, or food. And because of that, we say, Woo! Before this skyline touched the sky, WBTV became the first TV broadcaster in the Carolinas. 
before hashtags made headlines, before Hugo, before some hard-fought battles, WBTV became your most trusted local news by making sure that before we're on your screen, we're on your side. It's a different world now, but nothing's changed. We spent every day for the last 70 years focused on earning your trust, and that's exactly how we'll spend tomorrow. My kids always ask me how I got so good at making breakfast. And I just tell them that their mom has a lot of practice. You see, it's my job to make made-from-scratch Bojangles biscuits served all day, every day. And after a full day of making breakfast, there's nothing like enjoying a little bit of your hard work. Head to Bojangles and get two sausage, egg, and cheese biscuits for just $4. Bojangles, it's bow time. There are two types of journeys in life. There are those we choose to take and those that life takes us on. From moments we'll never forget to those we must overcome. Which is why American Airlines has teamed up with Stand Up to Cancer. Visit aa.com slash stand up to donate and share who you stand up for. And that loved one's name will be added onto our official Stand Up to Cancer plane. Because no matter what journey you're on, American Airlines is here to help you soar. The first decade saw the birth of Independence Boulevard in 1949, followed by the opening of both Ovens Auditorium and the Charlotte Coliseum in 1955. A year later, neighbors in McCaddenville started what is now known as Christmas Town, USA. I-85 opened in Mecklenburg County, followed by the Charlotte Motor Speedway in 1959. And I am joined now by my co-anchor, Christine Spiro. And, you know, we've been anchoring the morning show now for... Uh, Double many, digits now. Years? Ten is it, years. Is it really ten years? Yes. Oh, that's right. I started when I was five years old. So <laughs> yeah, you I wish. remember that well. <laughs> yeah, I, I know that. Yeah, yeah. it's been uh, ten, year, ten great years Ten at that. great years. It it's really has been. It's been a lot been. of fun. And, in fact, WBTV's anchor teams mm -hmm. have all been together longer than any anchor teams at any other stations in Charlotte, at least 10 years. Yeah, and you know what? One of the biggest questions we get, John, you and I, mm -hmm. is do we match on purpose each and oh. every day? We we somehow happen to wear the it's, same it's color so each and every day. It's just like <laughs> we've got this chemistry going here. Right. That, that just I don't naturally know. happens on a day-to-day -day yeah. basis, right? <laughs> uh, well, I guess that's what happens when you work together. That's with right. For so long. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well. We'll let you figure that one out. How about <laughs> it? Hey, one of the most popular WBTV anchors of all time, Doug Mays, once said, we learned this business and grew together as we went. Yeah, in our first 10 years, we learned to cover news and cover it fast. WBTV newsmen only were fast enough to photograph the site. We learned by doing. Our first 10 years were busy. Your Ethel reporter. Starting with 1950. With the pushing of this button, Direct television is brought to Charlotte and the Carolinas. A capacity crowd of over 56,000 people saw these two great teams meet at South Bend, Indiana. There were big moments. In June 1954, Charlotte Southern Railway Freight Station burned, and WBTV provided live on-the-scene coverage from our own rooftop. It is with compassion for our native land and love for our daughter, Dorothy, that we withdraw her as a student at Harding High School. Big events. Carolinians will long remember the telecast of President Eisenhower's speech on the 179th anniversary of the signing of the Mecklenburg Declaration of Independence, which originated from Freedom Park in Charlotte. We set up a remote broadcast from uh, Freedom Park, and uh, it was a very big undertaking for us. And we televised uh, that same year we televised a state Republican convention. Reporters vied for the top story. Nelson would come in sometimes and say, Norm, I have the greatest city council story you've ever seen. And stories we talked about decades later, like an elephant escape. And for 10 days, the Mecklenburg County Police, law enforcement officers from across the state, we even hired, I say we, the city hired a white hunter from Africa who at that time was working in Sarasota for Ringling Brothers to come up here and try to find Vicky. <laughs> that something? They did eventually find Vicky, and mm -hmm. she was sent to live on a farm in Hickory. Yeah, and when she passed away, her funeral was a television event that was carried right here 
on WPTV. Oh my. All right, well, with our first 10 years behind us, we are only just getting started. Yeah, in fact, we were about to go where no other news crew with a camera had gone before. That's ahead as we celebrate 70 years of being on your side. Happy 70th, WBTV. <laughs> to our friends at WBTV, thank you for supporting Coleman Charlotte's Race for the Cure for 20 years. We look forward to many, many more. Thank you. We love you. Woo! Introducing my $4.99 spicy chicken strips combo. Bigger, tastier strips of juicy chicken with crunchy batter. Spice them up with hot sauce or cool them down with buttermilk ranch. Try my new 100% all white meat spicy chicken strips combo today for just $4.99. Never paint your house again. Rhino Shield. Our revolutionary ceramic coating will help protect any exterior and comes with a 25-year transferable warranty. Call now and get 10% off. Don't paint. Don't vinyl. Go Rhino. Pass the pudding, please. When things get ugly, call the We Buy Ugly Houses people. We can give you an all-cash offer and can close quickly. Go to WeBuyUglyHouses.com or call 800-44-BUYER. It's the Honda Summer Spectacular event, which means more of this. The kind of elation you can only experience after getting a great deal on a Honda Civic or Civic Hatchback. Oh, it's for you. Or an Accord. All come standard with the Honda Sensing suite of safety and driver assisted features. And as you can see, all will provide you with plenty of joy. Come be a part of it today. God, that's so good. That's unfair. Phenomenal. That's so unfair. Come on, j -Ball. let's go. Let's go. Try my $4.99 barbecue bacon double cheeseburger combo. Only a Jack in the Box. Our second decade brought the first running of what is now called the Coca-Cola 600. Back then, it was the World 600. UNC Charlotte moved into its current location in 1961. A year later, Lake Norman became the state's largest man-made lake. 1966 was rocking when Elvis Presley came to town for the first time, and Mayor Belk gave us quite the nod by declaring July 15, 1969, WBTV Day. The paring knives, ooh, you can really fly getting those carrots peeled. And then the, uh, the carrots have to be cut, of course, when they're put into the beef stew in the pot. Somebody always wants to take one or two. <laughs> no one can forget the legendary Betty Fieser. Her show aired every day at 1 o'clock. And it was one of the most popular shows in local broadcast. Mm. Thank you for celebrating with us tonight. I'm Kristen Miranda. And I'm Coach Lamont. We met Betty Fieser's children back in 2016, right after morning break launched. They brought us a gift. Check this out. They gave us this picture. As you can see, it still hangs in the kitchen today. You know what's cool about this picture? Yeah. It's the very spot where her kitchen set once stood. Yeah, it was certainly a different time in television when Betty's show was on the air. Also different, though, the commercials that we aired. <laughs> Here are some of the most memorable spots we pulled from our archives. The best place to buy it is your red and white. For quality and savings, that's your place to go. You really ought to try it. Your friendly red and white. And now they bring you the Arthur Smith Show. Yes, indeed, it's the Arthur Smith Show with all the Cracker Jacks, brought to you by the friendly red and white food stores. Today, Betty Fieser celebrates her 20th anniversary in broadcasting with one of the area's top-rated daytime programs, The Betty Fieser Show. And her sponsors would like to relinquish their regular advertising time to salute her for 20 years of on-the-air work. Congratulations from Kate's Pickles. If they're Kate's, they're bound to be good. Holly Farms, for chicken that's always fresh. Harris Teeter, your friendly hometown store. From Public Service Gas, serving Metrolina. Belk, your happy shopping store. And Hunter Dairies, for the all-Jersey milk. Happy 20th, Betty Feaser. When I serve my family a special meal, I love to serve them all their favorites. 
So for my Sarah, there are tangy salads and hot corn on the cob. For Jim's meat and potatoes appetite, there's hot melt-in-your-mouth fried chicken and seasoned taters. For Michael, who likes a little of everything and lots of desserts, an assortment of good things to top off his meal. And for me, well, I'm just glad there's Holly Farms. Right now, something's cooking specially for you at your Holly Farms fried chicken restaurant at the sign of good things to eat. All of the, the JFG coffee bags, which is the best part of the meal to get your day started, are vacuum packed in a firm and fresh bag that seals in <laughs> the just right flavor. And you know, folks in the Southeast have been using JFG coffee since the turn of the century, and it's blended and roasted from the world's finest coffee beans with a tradition of quality. It also comes in the one pound blue bag, 13 ounce bonus bag, and also the Sabro decaffeinated. But here we go. Are you ready for this? Yeah, I think I'm going to get away. See now, <laughs> feel how steady the bag is. Feel the bag. Hard as a rock. Harder? Okay. Here we go. One, two, three. <laughs> I wish commercials were still that way. Seriously, in the old Belk ad. I, I know. love that. It's very cool. Mm -hmm. You know, when it came to news gathering, our second decade really didn't slow down much. Yeah, sadly, we lost the president and the civil rights icon during those 10 years. Yeah, and our cameras went somewhere they had never gone before, to an operating room and to war. Charlotte's Brooklyn neighborhood was forever changed after city council approved an urban development plan. 1960 brought another first for WBTV as the first television station to take a camera into an operating room. A team of four surgeons is about to open a four and a half year old child's chest. Later that year, the world's longest stock car race was born at Charlotte Motor Speedway. The weather is perfect. The turnout is tremendous. Major League Stock Car Racing has come to North Carolina to stay. In 1963, Walter Cronkite delivered news that shook the nation. President Kennedy died at 1 p.m. Central Standard Time, 2 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, some 38 minutes ago. America watched as the civil rights movement played out in front of television cameras. Our ultimate aim is to uh, bring about a change. Here in Charlotte, we covered the 1965 bombing of Kelly Alexander's home. It was deemed an act of domestic terrorism. The case was never solved. They would not uh, seriously uh, investigate and try to identify who did it. TV cameras also took us to the front lines of the Vietnam War, also called the Television War. We closed out the 60s by putting a man on the moon, and then Charlotte, Charlotte roared into the 70s. Yeah, do you remember the Supreme Court case that put our city in the spotlight? Or perhaps the WBTV milestone at Charlotte Motor Speedway? Those stories and more are next as we celebrate 70 years. Happy birthday, WBTV. Love, Betty Lynn. Or as you know me, Thelma Lou from the Andy Griffith Show. When a bear is chasing you, you take off faster than a toupee in a fan factory. Move that fast to the Ford Hurry Up and Save sales event. Now get 20% estimated savings on select Ford SUVs. Plus earn complimentary maintenance through Ford Pass Rewards at your Carolina Ford dealer. Papa John's new Picks for Six menu of quality items lets you build your perfect meal. Like a medium pizza and wings. Or just pizza and more pizza. Pick two for $6 each. Only at Papa John's. Hey folks, there's 5,000 reasons to take the short drive to Hickory. It's our $5,000 test drive, where you can win $5,000 by simply test driving a car. This is Jennifer from Newland. She won $5,000 and you can too. Before you buy, give Mike a try. It's 1-800-NEW-TOYOTA. Mom, we have to talk. I'm getting a little too old for notes in my lunchbox. Really? Okay. See what else I put in there? Little Bites! Entman's Little Bites Muffins. Bye, Mommy, I love you! Made with real ingredients like blueberries, bananas, strawberries, and no high fructose corn syrup are always baked moist and delicious. Entman's Little Bites. The perfect portion of happiness. 
Summer isn't long, but summer to-do lists are. Let a Ford F-150 help turn your to-dos into ta-dons. The Ford Hurry Up and Save Sales event. Now get 20% estimated savings on select F-150s, plus on complimentary maintenance through Ford Pass Rewards at your Carolina Ford dealer. Our third decade ushered in more entertainment and retail. South Park Mall opened in 1970, Carowinds ran its first ride in 1973, and Eastland Mall opened in 1975, and I-77 connected the region from Lake Norman to Fort Mill in 1976. ENG. This is a sneak peek of what happens every day inside ENG. It's where all the live shots from our field crews are dialed in to transmit over the air. And when it comes to going live on location, we've been thinking outside the box for years, even back in 1978. Here's a look back at some of the biggest stories from our third decade on the air. July 20th, 1969, America landed on the moon and families watched from home. That's one small step for man. In 1971, the nation's eyes turned to Charlotte after the Supreme Court ruling in Swan versus CMS brought court-ordered busing to the district. Three years later, tragedy struck when Eastern Airlines Flight 212 crashed in Charlotte. The extent of damage is massive and quite a few dead people. Bodies were strewn uh, all over the woods. 72 people on board died. 10 people were burned but survived. In 1978, after an early morning wake-up call, WBTV's 20-man crew began the day at 7.30 in the morning. Long before race time, they were arriving at the track. WBTV became the first station in the United States to mount a live camera in a stock car. That camera was in Buddy Baker's car for the running of the World 600. In 1979, Charlotte found itself back in the national spotlight again, this time for a bad reason. This was a stunning crime. Charlotte had never seen anything quite like this. Five outlaw motorcycle gang members found murdered in a clubhouse. The crime became known as the 4th of July Massacre. It would take four decades to crack that case, but in 2015, police finally closed it after they say members of the motorcycle community finally agreed to talk. John Carter mentioned earlier that we've been digging through our archives for weeks getting ready for this special day, but it's not just stories or videos that we found. John decided to take a field trip to the WBTV garage area to see what kind of artifacts he could dig up there. I'm told the WBTV stuff is in this room back here. Okay. Lights on? Yeah. There's some WBTV memorabilia back here. Let's see. At first thing I see, though, is, is something that I used when I first started here. A typewriter. You remember what these are? No electricity. Just type. It doesn't look like it's in the best shape anymore either. I mean, this used to be on the desk of every report. Ah, oh, these are cameras from over the different years. This looks more like a studio camera to me right here. Is this a photographer's? Oh, now here's a camera they used to carry. Battery packs missing here. Then an even bigger camera here. Look at all this. Is this a beta camera? I think so. And uh, let's see. Oh, good gosh. It weighs a ton. Uh, yeah, photographers used to have to carry this around and use it. Pretty incredible finds there in the WVTV garage, but that's only part of what John found. If you want to see the rest, go right now to WVTV.com slash since 1949. When WBTV signed on the air in 1949, our transmitter was in Gaston County. Imagine the surprise when letters from people as far as Minnesota and Colorado arrived saying they watched WBTV. I mean, how was that even possible? And when did it happen? We'll explain when our celebration of 70 years continues. Hi, Bob Enman. Happy birthday to my home of 25 years. It's buyback time at Brothers. For a limited time, Brothers will buy back your old inefficient HVAC system when we take up to $1,500 off your new heating and cooling system purchase. That's right, you'll save up to $1,500 when you choose the professionals at Brothers. Call Brothers today to set up your complimentary HVAC system analysis. Brothers, heating, cooling, and plumbing. Making it work, making it right. Visit BrotherAir.com. There are two types of journeys in life. There are those we choose to take and those that life takes us on. 
from moments we'll never forget to those we must overcome. Which is why American Airlines has teamed up with Stand Up to Cancer. Visit aa.com slash stand up to donate and share who you stand up for. And that loved one's name will be added onto our official Stand Up to Cancer plane. Because no matter what journey you're on, American Airlines is here to help you soar.